Is there something you've always wanted to do but never had the money to do it? Well, never say never. Seniors Have Dreams Too has been helping to make lifelong wishes come true for seniors 70 plus. Sally Smith is the president and she's joined by, by Vice President Betty Berger. It's great to have you both with us. Thank nice you. Nice to be all here. Right, let's talk more about what this is all about. Seniors do have dreams as well. Yes, they do. And what was the purpose of this whole organization? <clears throat> well, I think it began with Shirley. Uh, she was a resident at the nursing home where I was a nurse, and I was doing the med pass one morning, and we were talking, she's a fabulous artist, and she mentioned that she had always wanted her own art show, but it was always incorporated into a bigger venue. And I walked out of the room and I said, gee, that's really too bad. I bet I can do something about this. And we ended up getting her a one-week art show out of the facility with a champagne reception, and she sold two paintings. And this is all about because seniors don't realize that they too can have their right. wishes come right. true? Right. right. Well, I like the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but for seniors. And all of our seniors that we grant wishes to have to be 70 and older, like you said, and living on or below the poverty level, who are not likely to be able to afford to do something. Uh, because of family issues or income. So we try to make sure that there's something out there for everybody. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be something big. It could be something as simple as, as you know, like we had one lady who just, she, she was dying and, and she knew it, and her husband said he, his wish, he only wanted to make her smile. So we contacted the, they were avid Red, uh, Yankee fans, excuse me, avid Yankee fans and uh, so we contacted the Yankee organization and uh, they sent a box of goodies and we put a hat on her and she smiled again. I'm we sure she was smiling. To, yes, we were was. able to, <laughs> to give him that picture for him and his family and she died shortly afterwards but we made his wish come true. It was something that was relatively simple. That's great. And just really quickly, you have a contest that's already right. uh, has, it has already well, begun, we're just, correct? We're, yeah, yep. we're just rolling this out and it's for seniors 65 and older living on or below the poverty level we've lowered the age a little bit and we're granting two wishes uh to seniors who who like the same thing have never been able to do anything you can go on our website to get the application it that is www.seniorshavedreams.org and the application is on there and we would we're accepting applications until February 1st, and we will be deciding by on uh, February 14th. Excellent. Now let's take a look at some of these pictures of some of the recipients who have mm -hmm. uh, had their wishes come true. Yes. And this is the first one you were actually talking about, <laughs> Sally. This is Shirley, <coughs> yeah. the person that was granted the wish to? Right, to have her own art show. And she was, I'm sure, so pleasantly surprised that that happened. And this is Mary. And what happened with Mary here? Mary wanted to go see Mamma Mia at the Waterbury Theater, so we, we got her some tickets, and uh, Sally went with her and, in a limo, and we got in flowers a limo? for her. Oh, yes. She had a she blast. She first class all the uh, way. She, she was queen for the night. Did she get to meet the actors backstage as well? No, she no. didn't. She didn't. Okay. Well, hey, that's great. Now, this is Charlie. This is Charlie. He was such a sweetheart. They called him the little professor. He lives in a, a nursing facility in Plymouth. And his wish was to go to the New York City Fire Museum. And we got everything donated from the limo ride from Plymouth to New Haven. Uh, we had newspaper and TV coverage. And he had, uh, we got tickets for the train, took him down, had a limo uh, in New York. And we had a New Haven fireman okay. go with us and it met by a, I, I got a chance to go with him and it was, it was marvelous. Well, he just made his day. Oh, he smiled the whole trip and fell asleep on the train and on now, the way home. This is Anna who was, <clears throat> the, is this the one we were talking about? Oh, no, this is different. Anna is 101 years old. She went to a Red Sox game. Yes, I was thinking yes. of the yeah. other woman who had that no, box. Of, that's why I got a little confused. Of Red myself. Sox. Yeah, okay, she, this is Anna. she was an avid Red Sox fan, and she wanted to take her family to a Red Sox game. And so, did she? Yes, we, she, she went. All her family members? Uh, the five, well, I think one of them was a, 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 a nurse. That's her daughter that's with her in the picture. That's great. And she was from Massachusetts, and we, we got a chance to give her five tickets to this, the game and uh, transportation, she had a blast. And just really quickly, two more pictures, Josephine, she oh. is 86 years old, 
and had piano lessons. Yes, she did for eight months. Mm. And uh, last Christmas, she and her piano teacher made the CD. And she has three children. Each one of the children got a special thing. She is a um, resident at Cheshire House in Waterbury, where I work. And one day she said to me, you know, I always wanted piano lessons from the time I was seven, but nobody could afford to give them to me. And I, I left and I said, we'll make this happen. And you did. And we did. Now, for more information on the Seniors Have Dreams 2, all you have to do is call this number on the screen, 203-824-3967 six seven or log on to seniors have dreams dot org yes. and again there's that contest until february february first february first so check that out and we also want to say a special thank you to the community foundation for greater new haven for supporting nonprofit organizations like this organization seniors have dreams too thank you both for being here thank it's you great thank to you. have you and